Joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Uh, that's All right, here we go, guys. So this is the Pitro hand grinder from uh, Fianzato is the maker, but uh, Espresso Party is the distributor for the U.S. Okay. Yeah, it is pink, isn't it? That's the vertical. So this is the vertical uh, flat bar grinder. By the way, this thing is massive. Okay, this thing is massive. Uh, here's the magnetic cup. Uh, very, uh, very smooth as well. Okay very smooth so let's see here we have so here's a zero point okay so here's zero right there uh, we are unboxing Pitro grinder from Fianzato I believe okay and then there we go. You see that button right there? If you lined it vertically, press that button. Okay, here we go. And okay. So this one has a, a look like the diamond. The, it's called DRC coated. Okay, has a nice coating inside. So this is the embers. All right, so this is the M. Uh, kind of M stands for like, you know, multi-purpose, like MP burst, if you think of it as. A very smooth bearing as well. Okay. There we go. So from here, just simply press in, click. That's it. Okay. 707 gram. 77. 707. Okay. Oh. This is off the chart. 1500. So almost 1600 grams. It's very heavy. Okay. My EK43 right here. I only use that for filter. Okay. I only use that for my filter coffee. That's it. 98 millimeter flat bird give you that incredible clarity. Okay. The separation of the flavor. They're fantastic. Guess what? Over $3,000. So, I mean, this grinder, 450 bucks. Okay, so as long as you know what to compare to, if, if you are compared to a hand grinder, yes. It's gonna be, this is a way, this is a lot of money. But if you are compared to, let's say, high-end uh, filter grinder out there, the electric grinder, I mean, this is bargain, okay? All right, so DF, uh, Greg's talking about DF64. Okay, DF64, <clears throat> uh, DF64 with uh, MP burst, okay, give you that really clearly. MP burst is about 200 bucks. So DF64, you can get one for what? Three, 400 bucks now, okay? I'm not talking about DF64V, just plain DF64, could be 350, okay? So if you're gonna get yourself nice MP burst, 550. Okay, 550 bucks just to make a nice filter coffee and espresso as well. So it's all depends on the what are you comparing it to, right? This one comes in uh, comes with 50, we are talking 58 millimeter flat burr. 58 millimeter flat burr. That's huge. Okay, that is a legit size burr set. Okay, 58 millimeter. All right. So, I mean, it's very interesting, okay? So, I cannot wait to brew this coffee with, okay? So, magnetic catch cup here. And then we have the, the feeder going into the top. Coffee is going in there as well. Yeah, and that comes to, man, this is pretty smooth too. 
under minute and a half. Rain say under Ben say forty seven seconds. Wow, eighteen gram going in and seventeen point nine gram going. Yeah, I, I mean this has no retain, not a whole lot of retention there, guys. Smells pretty sweet as well. Here, here's the thing about the dosing though, because I've been using 13 and uh, eight, uh, 15 gram over the years. So today I just used the 18 gram. Dragon fruit. Let's see, the great tasting note though. Dragon fruit. And we have dragon fruit, red fruit, and papaya. Okay, I can smell papaya right now. All right, that smells fantastic. Okay, smells fantastic. It's there. Okay, here we go. Man, red fruits. We got red fruit is right there. Papaya finish, very clean. Man, dragon fruit is really, really clean. Okay. If you guys like the clean cup, I mean, this is fantastic, all right? Again, it's all about the, uh, which one you, are, you guys are going to compare to, right? You guys want to compare to hand grinder or you guys are going to compare to electric grinder, okay? I know a lot of you out there shocked by the price. You know, I mean, every, you know, I, you know, I would be too. Hand grinder for 450 bucks. I mean, it is a lot, okay? It is a lot of money, okay? So, but if you are compared to hand grinder, yes. But if you are compared to other grinders, other electric grinders out there, no, okay? I mean, they're a bargain for that. If, okay, if cup quality is as good or better, it needs to be better, okay? The fact is, this, this hand grinder needs to be better than DF64 with MP, all right? to justify this. If about the same, you know what, you go with the electric because it's a lot easier to use, okay? But if this thing is better than uh, MP Burst, I mean, that's a different story, okay? It'd be definitely a different story there, so. So just make sure before you buying comes to grinders, just find out what you like first, what kind of coffee you are into, okay? What kind of uh, roasting style, okay? If you are into really light roast, all right. If you are into medium to dark, so you need to know, I mean, you, you got to really think about what style of coffee you like and then focus on, after that, you're going to focus on that grinder, okay? I bet you, like medium to dark roast, okay? A Commandante really shines. But you are into like really, really light roast, like say coffee, Say isn't known for really light roast. All right, I mean, it could be a different story. Could be GP6. So, I mean, that's something you have to ask yourself before you're buying a grinder as well.